Hey, what's up? I'm Dave Anthony, voice of the Steinback Pistons, and you're here for the first ever Steinback Pistons Skills Competition Draft presented by Coffee Culture. We have the captains for both team, captains Denny Bosk and Hayden Goddard, and Dan Talfer and Tyler Penner. So what we're going to do to start off is a rock, paper, scissors for who gets the first pick overall. And uh, we're going to have Dan Talfer up against Denny Bosk. Some last minute instructions here from, from Hayden. All right. Is it a one for one or a best out of three? We'll do one for one. Oh, we're going for the gust. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh big win. win! Big win by Dan Topper and uh, Tyler Penner. So we're going to get them to pick the first selection for the uh, Steinbeck Pistons Skills Competition presented by Coffee Culture. Guys, who goes first overall? <laughs> well, we're going to go with our line mate, Cole Smith. Ooh, there we go. Cole, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, we we figured he's he's probably one of the better players on the team. He's got quite a shot. He's got the speed, which will help in uh, quite a few categories there, and we like him. So you know, pick him first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cole Smith, Brainerd, Minnesota, stands six three, hundred eighty five pounds less than Denny Bosk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we go to the next pick. Um, you know, we were thinking long and hard. Um, this player that we're picking, uh, you know, I think he brings a lot to the table. He's got good speed for a uh, fastest skater. He's got good accuracy and we know he can score in the shootout. Uh, he's a younger guy. He's going to bring youth to our lineup. Um, I think we're proud to select uh, Darby Gula from Steinbach, Manitoba. Uh, we like what he brings to the team. He's got a lot of skill and he's got a lot of speed. So we think he can uh, contribute in multiple different challenges that are going to be uh, out in the, in the skills competition. Good selection there by Team Bosk. They go with the speedy defenseman and a local boy, which will get the home crowd on their side right away. Interesting to see where Jordan Bohinski lands on here, the 19-year-old farmer. <laughs> <laughs> he is the one we're watching with the draft to watch today, see if his stock goes up or down. So Jordan Bohinski, remember that name. All right, Captain Penner, you're with the next selection. Uh, the next selection, we're going to go with the guy who hadn't scored too many goals at the start of the year, but we think his accuracy will help us out this year. Uh, Julian Koga. Ooh. Smart in the classroom and on the ice. And Penner with two goals last night, Beacon Koga a little bit, who only has two goals this year. <laughs> so a little strategy coming into play. Team Penner goes with two forwards, Team Boss goes with a defenseman. Where do they go next? Hayden Goddard with the selection. Well, this guy is uh, maybe small. He's got a big heart from the six with Mackenzie Graham. A little bit higher than we predicted Matt Graham to go, but you know, not, a, not a bad selection. We like our small guys. You got two forwards. Do you go defenseman? Do you go goalie? Or do you stick with uh, skill? Where do you go? Uh, we're going to go with a guy we think can win the hardest shot. So we'll go with Marty. That's a tough one. All right, uh, Denny. All right, we're gonna switch up our uh, our method of picking here. You know, we're gonna take a guy who's uh, probably has uh, the most similar um, thoughts. Uh, you know, compared to me and Hayden here, uh, this guy's gonna be a brick wall for us. I think we're gonna pick uh, Roman Bengard here. Yeah, the Nova Scotia native, Roman Bengard. Yeah, Team Canada. Yeah. This Boskin, uh, Boskin Goddard's right now. Just don't want to note that Jordan Bohinski is still available. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to let everybody know he's still available. All right, Dan, Tyler, what do you got for uh, us here? The next trick, we're gonna go with the guy who doesn't doesn't say too much. He might be known as the most awkward man. <laughs> Matthew Gomersic. There you go. It should be now noted that two thirds of that line of Gomersic, Bosk, and Koga have been picked, or pardon me, uh, two-thirds of the line of Gomersic, Koga, and Bohinski have been picked. All right, we're about halfway through the selection process here, the first ever skills competition coming up December 2nd, right here at the T.G. Smith Center, presented by Coffee Culture. It's up to Denny Bosk and Hayden Goddard. They are conferring here, and you never know what they're thinking. When they start whispering, you need to be concerned. Okay, we're going to go out on a limb here, um, probably going to have to cause a trade uh, later on. We're going to take the second goalie and go out with uh, oh, 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 Jeremy Witt. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there he is. That right is here. the first stunner of the day, folks. They now have two goalies. It looks like Penner's going to have to put pads on. This is, this is just unexpected. <laughs> they have <laughs> two goalies. <laughs> 
I am speechless, That's folks. This is <laughs> strategy. They are going to put one in front of the other. No one is going to score on the Rick Coy Challenge. And it looks like Pedder and Talfer are just in reeling right now. They're on their heels. Now they need to think, what are you going to do? We're going to go with uh, Eddie Eats. Big American defenseman. Might be, a, might be a player that can be flipped for a goaltender at a later date. It'll be interesting to see what they decide to do here. All right. All right. Is there another surprise in store from Team Boss Goddard? I guess we'll find out. Um, I think with this pick, we're just going to take the other towering uh, American defenseman here. Um, we're about to select uh, Ryan Carlson from uh, Hermitown. Just a surprise there. I thought it might be Joe Carney, but they go with Ryan Carlson. It's a gun. <laughs> As another defenseman is off the boards, Carlson, good skater, hard shot, good pick there by Team Boston yep. Goddard. Jordan Bohinski remains in play. <laughs> Surprising? You decide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nano uh, and Tyler are up here. <clears throat> Next, we're, uh, we're going to go with the guy who we think could win the shootout for us, Bradley Schoonbart. Smooth hands on the ice, great hair off the ice, Bradley Schoonbert. <laughs> Team Bosk and Goddard is a little rattled since uh, Tyler and Dano have just selected their line mates. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a tough one. We thought maybe he could be a sleeper and we'd pick him up later, but... Uh, that's what happens when you pick both goalies. So yeah, <laughs> it's a bold strategy there, but uh, hopefully it'll pay off. Uh, this next guy, you know, uh, he's proved it in games, you know, scored in the shootout. We think this guy is going to bring it in the skills competition. We're pe picking... Uh, Tyson McConnell, or other no, otherwise known as Colonel Sanders, <laughs> right here. Forward Luke Amsbaugh is uh, unfortunately injured. He will not be participating in the skills competition. Uh, we wish him a speedy recovery and hope he can come back to Steinbach soon. There we go. He's genius. All right. Uh, I've forgotten whose pick it is. It's uh, <laughs> Tyler and Dan. Alright, with got? our next pick, uh, he's got a bit of a shoulder injury, but hopefully he gets better. We'll take Joe Carney. Stop, but he could be a sleeper in the fastest skater competition. <laughs> and by boots. meeting, by the time he gets around, we all might be asleep. Next pick here, a few great players still left on the board, including local good guy Scott Peckow. You know what, uh, Dave, I think you just read our minds. We're, uh, we're actually going to go uh, with, uh, you know, as we look at the pictures, uh, Probably one of the better looking guys on the table right now. Um, local good guy, Scotty P. What a terrific selection. That might be the sleeper as Scotty is uh, as both a character on and off the ice. Four players remain and of course that means Jordan Bohinski still remains. <laughs> <laughs> we got two defensemen, we got a forward and we got Jordan Bohinski. This guy, he, he broke his wrist a little while back but he's been getting better and he's got quite the shot so we'll go with Tyler Anderson. That is a terrific selection late as Henner might have just got the steal of the draft outside Boss Goddard selecting both goalies, <laughs> which I forgot they did until now. <laughs> so just stick around folks, when the draft is over there's going to have to be some movement and it's going to be entertaining. <laughs> All right. Three guys left. This is where strategy comes in. Do you go defense in Matt Stanley, who probably hasn't cleaned his room in a while? Do you go with Scott McCoskey, who may actually not be in school at this moment and watching this on TV somewhere? Where do you go? Uh, you know, we want to go where maybe uh, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree here. And uh, we're going to go with uh, Matt Stanley. Um, hopefully, uh, you can bring us some, uh, some grit out on the ice, uh, kind of intimidate the other team. Look at that, that's an intimidating face right there. A similar hairstyle to Denny Bosk. All right, down to two. McCoskey and Bohinski. Well, um, it's tough. The last, it's yeah, tough it's race, tough. You know? Who do you guys get stuck with? This, this? I don't know. You don't really want to pick this team. guy, but I don't want Bo on my team, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to deal with Mikowski. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Scott McCoskey. You know what? Um, you know, Jordan Bochinski, you know, he might not play with the most grit, um, no, but we know what we get out of him, and we're going to be happy to select uh, Jordan Bochinski last overall. <laughs> Still one more piece of business to take care of. If you notice, Team Boss Goddard has got both Pistons goaltenders, Bo <laughs> Roman Bangert and Jeremy Wick, so it'll be up to Tyler Penner and Dan Talfer to offer a player. Uh, to send over the way of Boss Goddard and uh, guys, looking at your roster, 
We're gonna have to do some negotiations. Well, some, yeah, he's gonna be, take a second, think about it. Two for one. <laughs> and uh, no, Jordan Bowinski cannot be had for pucks. <laughs> The tension is palpable. I think that's our best chance there. Yeah. Yeah. But will they accept? Okay. That's true. All right. So we're going to start with Team Penner offering a trade to uh, Team Muscotters. We're hoping you guys have a lot of respect for this guy because you play with him all the time. Uh, Bradley Schoonbert for Jeremy Wick. Ooh, straight up one for one trade. We, uh, you know, we don't mind uh, that trade. We were kind of looking for a guy that would come into a category that we haven't really covered yet in our lineup. What would you guys think in uh, possibly the trade of Jeremy Wick for Connor Martin? Ooh. Mm. It's on time. Team Penner and Talford. They're thinking. That was a solid counter. We need, to <laughs> we, need, we, need we need a goal. We need a We're gonna accept the trade. All right, there we go. Pleasure doing, oh. doing business. Yeah. Good luck. So there you have it. The first ever Piston Good Skills luck. Competition draft is in the books. Luck, December second. You're not gonna to want to miss it right here at the uh, the TG Smith Center. On behalf of the Steinbeck Pistons, I'm Dave Anthony. Thanks for watching. Hayden, you going with uh, youth on this club? You got three 20 year olds. What do you like about your what, what about your team going forward? Yeah, you know, youth this year. The team is uh, a lot of good young players. As you can see, our team is just fantastic. Um, I don't know, we're just going to be scoring goals left and right as if you look at the board, so I'm really excited to get this going. All right, from, from per first pick to last pick, Dano, it seemed like you guys had a strategy. Just talk us through what you were thinking up there. Yeah, there's a bunch of different skills uh, that we needed, so we try to get different players that bring that different skill set, and I thought we did a good job. We had a lot of good players. Uh, Danny, from pick number one to the last pick, it looked like you had a strategy. Just talk us through what you were thinking up there. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> overall uh, it's about sportsmanship as well. And, uh, you know, if you look, go, go through our team and you look at the pictures, we all kind of have good-looking guys on the team. So we just kind of wanted to keep that uh, that trend going and picking kind of handsome-looking players because we want to put on a good show, a good sportsmanship-looking team for the fans. And I think we, we captured that. Uh, I think maybe one player is lacking a little bit in that discipline. Uh, maybe Jordan Boschinski there may be falling a little bit in the looks department. But uh, hopefully other players will be able to pick up the slack uh, as, as it comes. Tyler, Team Bosk and Goddard are going for looks. What are you guys going for? Well, I, I don't know about that for them. It's, it's their team's not the best looking, but I think we got a pretty good looking team. We're more, we're more for the for winning out there. We we don't care about the looks. Uh, you make the you make the move to go Roman Benger, and then right after Jeremy Wick. What was the thought process there, Aiden? Well, you know we had uh, Martin on our, our radar there for a while, and uh, we didn't get him. So we figured we might as well grab a second goalie, and the other team's gonna need a goalie. So we figured we'd just trade for him later. Yeah, and it uh, just worked out perfectly, just Pando. like we thought. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you fleeced the Penner Talfer combination on that one? I'm not sure what fleeced means, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was your initial reaction when they picked the goalie? Uh, I kind of saw it coming. I, I saw them both uh, giggling and uh, whispering to each other, so I knew something was up. But yeah, it's funny. They select both goalies. You have to make a trade. It had to be tough to trade Marty. Uh, just talk us through that process and, and what you guys discussed. Yeah, we obviously we needed a goalie, right? So. We didn't want to trade Marty, but they, I don't know, they wanted him and we can't win without a goalie, so we, we decided we had to trade Marty and I thought it, it worked out all right. All right, do you have a prediction of how well your team is going to do in the upcoming skills competition? Well, we're hoping to finish first. Uh, you yeah. know, we'd be kind of disappointed if we get anything but it. So, uh, <laughs> if you're not first, you're last, I guess. <laughs>